All right, Katie's back, and it's feeling as it should outside. It does, and you know it's not going to last very long. The temperature is going to take a pretty solid hit even as early as tomorrow, but at least we've got today. It's really nice out there. I do want to give you a sense of what's going to happen in the days ahead and specific to this coastal concern that we have looking ahead to the weekend. So it's not a nor'easter necessarily. It's certainly not a tropical system. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I heard Don't I know. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's like saying the S word, snow. There's none of that in this okay. forecast either. Don't worry. But the reason I bring that up is that this is the time of year we do start to see those taking shape and there will be some tropical moisture that gets thrown into the mix as well. Actually from Willow, which we covered just a moment ago here, we're going to talk about that track as well. Let's get you out there. I want to show you the maps. We'll start it off with a view of more regional zoom on storm scan three, where there's a pretty wimpy disturbance as far as we're concerned. Anyway, there's certainly some rain showers that are working their way through upstate New York, downwind of the Great Lakes. And yes, there's definitely some snow really far north, though, well across the Canadian border. This is going to likely trigger a quick shower here and there across the Poconos, and that is it. It kicks the breeze up for us, granted, but we are going to keep the sun around. Let's go completely across the continent here and check out what's happening with which is now a category three storm system. It has been downgraded, but it is still a major storm for this area, bringing lots of tropical moisture, which it is eventually going to feed northeast. Why do we care so much about this here locally? Well, take a look now. We don't have to worry necessarily about this little batch of rain, but eventually that storm is going to move on across the, the Texas border and then sort of cut across the southeast where it eventually sort of at least gets fed into a storm that's going to be developing and that's what eventually rides up the coastline. Now there are a lot of scenarios that come in play with this. We of course look at a lot of different computer models as meteorologists. We never rely on them solely, but they're a good guide as to where storms are going to track, when they're going to develop and all of that. One of our models, the GFS model, brings the storm in a little bit more slowly. It's a weaker storm per the GFS. It also keeps it a bit further away from the coast. What that actually means is we'd see higher precipitation amounts because if you go by the Europe here and the European model here, which by the way pinpointed Sandy awfully well, if this comes in not just faster and stronger, but also a little bit more quickly, uh, this could set us up to be in the dry slot, which would mean that we wouldn't end up with as much rain. So the Bets are off right now. What we know is there will be a storm to track. What we don't necessarily know is where is it headed. So we just have to sort of wait and see. The storm again hasn't even formed yet. Let's check out the Poconos. The beautiful view and what a sunrise you had up this way. This is outside at Jack Frost and Big Boulder, but overlooking one of the lakes where there are a few clouds starting to pop up out there. And these could eventually ring out a couple of stray showers throughout this region later on today. Beautiful afternoon at the shore, mid 60s in the sunshine. Ocean water temperature starting to drop off a little bit. That's why they call it the off season obviously, but it's a really nice afternoon. Looking at the temperature difference, nice little surplus going on here. It's at least 10 degrees warmer than it was the same time yesterday. As that translates to a couple of thermometer readings, you're currently at 60 at the airport with a nice west or southwesterly wind flow, helping to nudge in some warmer air and also that full sunshine never hurt either. So enjoy this while you have it. It may be a little breezy granted, but it's a small price to pay for a beautiful fall afternoon. And notice it doesn't last long. You're back to the 50s by tomorrow, so back to below average still tame through most of Friday. It's the weekend that we start to see things go downhill guys.